So part two of you receive an IRS notice in the mail for an audit. So now that we've actually met with you and we've actually spoken to the IRS, first thing we've done now is we've given you a list of items that you need to go through and you need to put together for us. So that once you get this documentation together, we're going to schedule it out and prepare for the IRS audit on your behalf. You've given us a power of attorney to represent you and now that transitions the IRS from contacting you directly or any other forwarding mail or correspondence directly to you in your mailbox or your home and allows us to communicate with them. One of the things that I find that this happens in this situation is that most people take too much time to get their information together. Timing is very important here and the quicker we can get it, the quicker we can actually have the IRS resolution for you. What we want to do ultimately is get them out of your life as quick as possible and not have them probe around your documents and other things that may be going on in your life.